This week on Machinery Pete TV, a return to the Boyer sale in Cedar Lake, Indiana. Pete sits down with auctioneer Arden Schrader for his perspective on used equipment values. Collector Bob Blair shows off his 1927 McCormick Deering. And we find out how important a good picture is when selling your machinery. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out the Tire Grabber at TheTireGrabber.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Repeat TV, coming at you this week from Northwest Indiana, where the crops are looking very strong. They've had the right amount of rain at the right time here. We got a nice hot Indiana summer day, and I think we're going to see some really hot bidding today. I'm not sure what's going to be hotter though, the 10-year-old John Deere 9570 STS Combine or some beautiful international trucks. But before we watch the bidding, we got to go back to the studio, catch up on the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Ag producers are feeling a little better about the state of the overall farm economy, but inflation has them worried. Now, that's according to the latest Purdue CME Group Ag Economy Bromner. Take a look. The latest survey showing a slight increase in April, up eight points to a reading of 121. Now, that's up slightly month over month, but well below last year's reading of 178. There was a modest uptick in both the index of current conditions and the index of future expectations. But again, those indices both remain well below where they were this time last year. Mintert says farmers were clear their top concern for 2023 are higher input costs followed by the availability of those inputs. Happening right now, more than 1,000 workers at CNH industrial plants in Wisconsin and Iowa are on strike. The United Auto Workers Union saying that the strike began at noon, May 2nd. It's impacting plants in Racine, Wisconsin and Burlington, Iowa. The company said in a statement, it is disappointed it couldn't reach an agreement with the union and it remains committed to the bargaining process. It's the first strike for the company in nearly 20 years. Now let's check on some recent auctions from around the country. Now let's send it back to our host, Machine Repeat. Hey folks, stay with us coming up. You are not going to want to miss watching this sweet truck sell. A 2003 International 4400. This thing's got just under 255,000 miles on it. Find farm equipment on Machine Repeat's May 17th online auction. No reserve, no buyer fees. Start bidding now at auctions.machinerepeat.com. All right, folks, corn head time. We have a 2011 John Deere 608C, eight row head with stock stompers on every row. Now, the last five years, the average auction price on a 608C is held very steady between 24,000 and 25,500. Now 
35,000, Luke. We got 35,000. 35,000. 30, 30, 35. Now 35, 5. 35, 5, 35, 5, 35, 5. Anybody else say 35, 5? 7, 10, 35,000 North Carolina bound. Hey folks, I'm here with my good friend Arden Schrader with Schrader Real Estate and Auction. Now Arden, let's start off with machinery. And you guys have as many great sales as anybody around. What what have you guys been seeing here with used values? Well, the used values and and is especially strong quality as it has for 40 years always dictates interest and price um, and I know that you've seen a lot of new records set uh, in a lot of things and you know I think uh, the availability of, of new equipment the cost of new equipment uh, you know when they can buy something that is very serviceable and low houred uh, and had a good home, such as the equipment that we're going to sell tomorrow, uh, that, uh, that dictates a, a lot of that value and, and, and reiterates re, uh, that value of, of what it could be worth when it's, you know, people might think that brings a lot of money today, but to go replace it with something new, we might still be at a third or half That's of always, that value. Always the question, isn't it? You, you sell one of these five-year-old, beautiful, ten-year-old tractors and yeah, people think it sells high, but what's well, a new one called? Yeah, go replace it with that same horsepower and and so, you know, make a couple payments. <laughs> hey folks, you want to talk a sharp truck. Man, we got one here for you. 2003 International 4400 DT 466, just under 255,000 miles. It's got a 2012 Con 20-foot aluminum box. Online last night, the bid was already past 46,000 bucks. They are sitting on every corner. They're not sitting on every corner. Here we go. Yes or no. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. Find farm equipment on Machinery Pete's May 17th online auction. No reserve, no buyer fees. Start bidding now at auctions.machinerypeat.com. Your next piece of equipment is on machinerypeat.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on machinerypeat.com.
Well, a number of current trends in the farm machinery auction market were all confirmed on a recent sale October 20th over in Ellsworth, Wisconsin. Now, this was a sale by our good friends at the Steffes Group. Now, there was one new record price set on this sale, and it was this Lake New Skid Steer, a John Deere 317G, only had 76 hours on it, went for $45,500. Now, interestingly, the previous record high auction price was set earlier this year, January 30th in Northeast Missouri on a sale where this very nice uh, 18 model 317G with 125 hours on it went for 43,000 bucks. So good use skid steers have been hot. Now good use loader tractors have also been red hot. And on the Ellsworth, Wisconsin sale, this 08 John Deere 6430 with a loader, 2,610 hours on it, sold for $87,500. Now that's the seventh highest auction price ever on a 6430 with a loader, but here's the deal folks. Four of those seven highest auction prices ever have come in the last 11 months. Now, a few other trends in the auction market that were confirmed on this October 20th sale. One, it was an online auction, which of course, uh, there's no going back. This, we're going to see more and more online only. It was also in the evening, uh, 7 p.m. closing time. I'm starting to see more auctions do this. I think it's a great idea. I think maybe draw in more bidders. I think we'll see more of this going forward. And the third piece about this auction, there weren't that many items, maybe 15. Didn't used to see that, but now we're seeing that all the time. Online auctions in the evening, keep an eye out for more of these in the future. Well, welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. Now, running older machines, hey, it can be a challenge sometimes. But when you're out in farm country calling on your neighbors, it's just part of the deal. Bob Blair shows us how he fires up his 1927 McCormick Deering in the heart of Texas. Get the gas turned on, I'm gonna get a friend to pull me with a, a Japanese built tractor. This is uh, very close to a tractor that my granddad had that I, I sat in his lap and drove when I was five years old and I'm 68 now. And I still got the property that we were plowing at that time. And uh, this was always a tractor that I thought I wanted someday. So when I found this one in Montana, we went after it. I think that the day I bought it, it was covered in snow and about 50 below. I need to do some work on the magnet and the carburetor to get it to operate like it should but, uh, and change some sheet metal on it, but when I'm through it will, it will have all the options. I'm still looking for a, a hillside drawbar. Uh, I do have the uh, power takeoff for it and, and this, this was the, the, so I understand, the first tractor to come out with power takeoff. One, one interesting thing on, on these. Uh, it's got three tanks. Uh, the little tank is for gasoline starting. The largest tank is for fuel, which it would use diesel, kerosene, or gasoline, either one. And the uh, middle-sized tank was for water. You like this tractor? I, I will when I get through with it. Well, hang in there with us, folks. Coming up, our feature item on the show today, you're not going to want to miss. Uh, a 10-year-old combine sharp condition with low hours. We've got an 11 model 9570 STS, 1011 SEP hours. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit machinerepeat.com and click sell mine. Machinerepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. All right, folks, this has been worth the wait. Our feature item on the show today, a really sharp 2011 John Deere 9570 SDS combine, 1,756 engine hours, 1,011 SEP hours. Now, coming into the sale, the last 28 9570s that I've seen sold at auction around the country, average price, 82,432 bucks. Where are you gonna find it? 
Folks, our feature item, the 2011 John Deere 9570 STS Combine, just over 1,000 SEP hours on it, sells for 106,000 bucks. Actually, I, I don't think that's too bad of a buy, but this market is so heated. Just to show you, the current average dealer ad price on a John Deere 9570 is 110,660. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, when it comes to selling used equipment, folks, a good picture is worth way more than a thousand bucks in your pocket. And I don't know about you, but the older I get, the more I've come to realize life really is about the details, the small details. And when you do what I do, covering the farm equipment market all these years, you just notice that some farm equipment dealers and some auction firms just do a better job in terms of number and quality of pictures. Now on the dealer side, folks like HW, great John Deere dealer there in Illinois, fantastic pictures. Uh, Randall Brothers out of Holgate, Ohio, amazing quality of pictures and number of pictures in their listings do a fantastic job. On the auction side, of course, our great friends at Sullivan Auctioneers, sponsor of, sponsor of the TV show here. You've all seen the incredible job they do with number of pictures and detail, attention to detail on the angles of the pictures. One other auction company I want to highlight, I've thought this for years, that they just do an incredible job with their pictures and it's it's uh, Miller and Company Auctions and Appraisals out of Newton, Wisconsin. Uh, Greg Miller and Debbie there, they do an incredible job. And now they had a sale recently. It was October 26th. It was a little farm estate sale. Beautiful pictures, beautiful equipment. Just a couple highlights. Uh, this New Holland BR740A round baler only had 1,248 bales through it. This thing went for 20000 bucks, which is a record high auction price, 2800 dollars over the previous high which was from exactly 12 years ago. Now, also on the sale this very sharp John Deere 450 13 foot grain drill sold for $17,000 tied for the fourth highest auction price ever. Cherry on top of the cake on this sale though folks was this 2004 Chevy 3500 Duramax diesel dually 50,028 miles on it super sharp sold for 36,000 bucks. Now folks that's a record high auction price for any Chevy 3500 2002 to 2006 model I've ever seen. So more proof here, it pays to take great care of your equipment and take great pictures when it comes time to sell. Well folks, hope you had fun today at the auction here in Cedar Lake, Indiana. And I told you this equipment was super sharp and it had a suspicion this truck might be the hot item on the day, and boy, was it ever. An 03 International 4400, just under 255,000 miles, 67,000 bucks, intense bidding action. Uh, again, just great to watch this stuff sell. Now, we'll see you back here next week on Machinery Pete TV. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIproducts.com.
For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com.